<laughs> the internal clitoris and in all her glory. I love this anatomical, I guess, 3D version teaching aid. I also love it as just something to have on your desk. We didn't know that the internal clitoris existed into the 1990s because no one ever dissected the female sex organ. Here is the clitoral gland, what we see with 10,000 nerve endings. Here's the shaft, that little ligament that attaches the clitoris to the pubic bone, everything we don't see. The legs of the clitoris that anchor it on the pubic bone and the bulbs of the clitoris. That hug the vagina. They go on either side of the v vagina. And when the bulbs become erect, mm -hmm. that's what brings pleasure during intercourse. During All of this is erectile tissue. Mm -hmm. It fills up with blood when we're aroused. Yes. I love this as a tool. It's something that you can hold. It's in white bronze. Um, sex therapists use it. I also like to have them just as a, a regular person because it's a beautiful object. And it really is a testament mm -hmm. to the vastness of female sexuality because the internal clitoris is the most sophisticated sex organ mm -hmm. on the planet that never ages. Mm -hmm. I love just holding it in my hand because I don't get to see my internal clitoris. But mm -hmm. holding it in my hand, feeling the weight um, mm -hmm. of, of that model, it's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. It reminds me that my internal clitoris exists for my pleasure. The most sophisticated sex organ on the planet. And there are so many erogenous zones on the vulva because of the internal clitoris. Mm -hmm. So very often when you go right on the clitoral gland, that's 10,000 nerve endings. It's too sensitive. Mm -hmm. I found that the clitoral shaft, if there's one part that I would pick that most women like, it's the clitoral shaft, which makes sense. You have a rubber band and mm -hmm. whoo, right? you can kind of move it side to side, up and down, put your hand or your vibrator above and have mm -hmm. it go down to the clitoral gland. Mm -hmm. But if you vibrate or stimulate your outer and inner labia, put your mm -hmm. wishbone and your fingers in between, put the vibrator on the outer labia, it hits the legs and the bulbs. The legs of the clitoris follow along the pubic bone. So that's where your leg meets your vulva, right? So if you go in that crease with a vibrator or with your hands, you're stimulating the legs of the clitoris. When you go over your outer labia, right next to the legs, that stimulates the bulbs of your clitoris. So there is just, there is so much more to our pleasure. Um, it really is like the, what, what we think of as our clitoris, just the glands that's literally the tip of the iceberg. I was just so much, <laughs> <laughs> it's the tip of the iceberg and it's why we don't feel as much satisfaction because if we stimulate those nerve endings, we have a quick orgasm and it doesn't feel like a release. If we take more time and we circle around the clitoral gland and we hit the legs and the bulbs and everything around it and we get that erection <laughs> internally, mm -hmm. and then we take our orgasm, we're going to have more sensation and more feeling. So I love this model because it teaches us mm -hmm. about our bodies.